Hey guys, I'm Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center, and I want to help you learn how to do the you do as I do card trick. Now, there's the slight modification in this is that at the end, it's not the same card. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I came up, when the, when I was when I felt like this was the right trick for this lesson, I wanted to do it exactly like it's done where at the end you have the exact same card and wow, it's amazing. But, it would never work that way. For some reason, every time when we finished the trick, it was the wrong card. And when I first did it, or when Dodo first did it, it was a three and a three. And then when I was working with, uh, when Dodo was working with my daughter, they ended up with a ten and a ten. And they're close, but not the same. Well both in lesson and in video, we just went ahead and went with it and taught it in that way to talk about how maybe we're not just like Christ. We imitate Christ. We do the best we can to be like Him, but we're not just like Him. And so that's kind of why it ended up that way. It just kept happening that way. So if anything, the way we can see it is the Holy Spirit was guiding us in that direction. So how do you do this trick? It's actually really simple. Um, first of all, what do you need for the trick? You need two decks of cards, preferably two very different cards. You could have a blue deck and a red deck, or a blue deck and a white deck, a red deck and a pink deck. It doesn't matter, but you want them to be different so that you can let them have a freedom of choice. And that's what's really nice, is that you can let them have a freedom of choice. It doesn't matter what deck they take. So, the you do as I do is very important because you want to make sure they understand that they need to do everything that you do exactly as you do it. Because if they do something different than you, something could mess up the trick. And that has happened to, uh, to me before, too. And so just so you can understand the trick or understand how this is done, the first thing you want to do is make sure that they will follow your actions. So do something silly to start with so that they'll feel comfortable and they'll feel comfortable doing whatever you do and uh, make it something where they'll do exactly as you do it. Alright, so one of the other things that you need to make sure that you do while you're having them do the same is do a cut. You want to cut the deck, set it on the table, and put the other half on top. Because that's very important once the selection is made. Now, the other, the other important move that you're going to do is the flip move. The only reason that you do this move is so that you can get a glimpse, let's say that they chose the white deck. You want a glimpse of the bottom card. So when they're flipping this over, you look and see what's the bottom card? The Eight of Diamonds. So you're remembering the Eight of Diamonds. So you know that they have the Eight of Diamonds on the bottom of their deck. Then you tell them to look through and pick a card. Now what you do while you're looking through and picking a card is you find the Eight of Diamonds because you're thinking of the Eight of Diamonds. You don't need to forget the Eight of Diamonds. So find the Eight of Diamonds and set it down. It doesn't matter what this card is. Okay? And then they're going to find any card in the deck. Now you need to be sure that they do this exactly as you do it. Because if they don't, they can mess, you, they can mess this up. You, this card needs to stay the bottom card. So they need, you need to make sure that when they pull their card out, they don't do this, or this, or anything like that, because that makes the bottom card change. So you need to make sure, if you can, have them do it with you, where they'll pull the card out and set it down in front of them, and they close it up. Because otherwise it messes up. You need to have the Eight of Diamonds still be on the bottom. And then, of course, you have them cut, so cut, and over here. We do a cut. You have them set the card, selected card down. They set their selected card down. Then you set the other half on top. And then you set, they set their bottom half on top, which of course is, has this uh, eight of diamonds. Now you switch. Now, same thing. When you go through their deck, you go through all those steps again, it kind of, uh, smoke screen if you will because now it doesn't matter about any of the moves but 
you do it again so that they would feel comfortable and the cutting of the deck isn't really going to hurt where the card ends up. So you go through the deck, through their deck, and you're looking for the eight of diamonds. Now of course that's not the card they picked. That was the bottom card, which it actually means that the card that they chose is right underneath it. So this is this was the bottom of the deck and it's set right on top of the chosen card here. So it's the three of diamonds. And so you would take that one out and set it down. And of course they would know what they chose so they would pick the three of diamonds and set it down. Now that gets you exact cards. Okay. Now as I said this kept messing up for me. So I never ended up with a three of diamonds and three of diamonds. That did never happen. So if you wanted to actually do the trick and teach the lesson the way that Dodo did, what you need to do is when you go through the cards, it was eight of diamonds, when you go through the cards, you look for, let me show you. You're going to go through the cards. And when you spot the eight of diamonds, you know the card right before it is the card selected. So the three of diamonds. So now you know to look for the three of hearts or any other three really. Now the three of hearts is a better one because if you get the three of hearts they're both red. So you'll pull out the three of hearts and set it down. And then you can teach this lesson with the same uh, lesson that Dodo did in the, in the trick that you've seen. So, Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Enjoy, guys. See you later. Can you hit the button to make it stop recording? I'm a boogeyman. B -b boogeyman. <laughs>